Nine years ago, it was the first time I stepped into this school. And then as soon as I immersed myself in it, <laughs> I knew there was no going back. This is the Catholic High School Sports Day. It happens once every year, and it's a time where a large majority of the school work together for this huge event. Our Sports Day is like our identity. It is easily the biggest event that happens throughout the year. Nothing even compares. It is time when even alumni would come back to help the juniors out, to guide, to advise them, so that they can make the sports day dream come true. But more than that, sports day is such a memorable experience that we just want to come back and experience it for ourselves again. That's how much this means to us. It is a time when families would form among the students. A time when students who previously did not belong anywhere would find a place they could call home. And this family we become a part of simply goes beyond graduation. But most importantly, it is a time when people would come together to create something amazing that will transcend a lifetime. The house deco is like the spirit of the Catholic High Sports Day. It's many things. It's fun. It's tough. It's sadness. Last but not least, it's happiness. And those are just naming a few. More than that, it is the fact that the people who get involved in it, they become a changed person. Because you see, it teaches us many things. Things... Well, they would not normally be taught in class. Things like solving problems, teamwork, communication. All of which are necessities that go into making anything substantial come to fruition. Not just in house deco, but life in general. It is the bonds that are formed between the students. Many of which that last way beyond even college and university. It is actually during this time that, well, at least for me, I finally found greater meaning in the daily grind of high school life. But back then it was different. We did not have a proper space where we could work. Students would be huddled up in various corners of the school, the science labs, the workshops. Without space, we had to improvise. And without shelter, we had to make our own. And when it rained, it was when all hell would break loose. Hours of hard work into building a structure would go to waste. But times have changed. You know, this year was a special one. It was the first time ever that the school partitioned the whole sports centre to the decoration effort for two weeks prior to our sports day. Imagine that, closing off the whole sports centre, no bookings by outsiders, and there were no exceptions being made. It was the first time ever that we've gotten such a proper workplace. And then there are the parents and the people from the PIBG who went through shifts supervising the students who were in the sports centre from the afternoon till late night for two whole weeks. They would bring them snacks when the mood was low and they'll be there when anyone needs them. This sports day has let us devote ourselves to something greater than just ourselves and to do it alongside amazing people who have shared the same vision. And this is something that is very apparent especially the structures that we build. Because you see, everything that we build is all built on foundations of what would be considered as scrap by everyone else. But yet, a foundation of scrap can still prove to be a steady one when utilized properly. And as you can see, 
majestic pieces of architecture can be born from such materials with the right determination. Those who have not seen it will not believe it. It is truly, in all senses of the phrase, a spectacle of wonder.